<laughs> Hi. Hello. Uh, so, I have to make a pizza right now for a thing. It's for a friend's holiday thing. It's very cute. It's a it's like a like a like a like a potluck. <laughs> Where, they, where you put wherever all the friends come together and you make a dish. They say, oh, what are you going to bring to the potluck? The holiday potluck? Oh, and I said, oh, a pizza. I've been wanting to make a pizza for two months straight. And so I thought, what a perfect opportunity. So anyways, I agreed to bring this homemade pizza a week ago, but that's before I knew about this. Broken thumb that I'd have to be deal that I'd have to be dealing with. But do you think I'm gonna let one pesky broken thumb keep me from successfully making a homemade pizza? I don't know. We'll see. I might. It might. But I'm just gonna do what I always do, which is try my best. <laughs> Doesn't that suck? Me doing that with that? You wanna know how this happened? It's horrible, I'll tell you. So three days ago, I woke up in my bed, which I put sh uh, sheets on a couple days ago. Moving on up. Um, and, and I woke up in my bed, at, you wouldn't believe it, at 7.15 a.m. So I decided like, okay, you're up. You should have like a rock star morning. And so I saw there were a whole bunch of dishes in the sink. And so my instant thought was, ugh, you don't wanna do that right now. You wanna go play video games. You wanna go play God of War. But I didn't. I said, Garrett, no, you're trying to be better like going into the new year, you know? You don't wanna just be like a ADHD riddled pile of a man. You, you, you gotta do this. So I tackled the dishes. I got in there with uh, soap. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You probably know what soap looks like, but that was the one I used. <laughs> um, and I got in there with uh, with soap, and I was doing the dishes. Oh, uh, I'll give you a POV. Oh, this is fun. Look, and this fun. <laughs> I was doing the dishes right here, and and I probably got through about three cups, and then I saw this tea kettle, this little monster right here, this little beast, which I have a very complicated relationship with now, because we used to be, you know, tight. Me and this tea kettle, we've spent so many years together, um, and now I don't know how to feel about it. You know what I'm saying? Because um, it, did, it did me real dirty. Um, you see this lip right here of this tea kettle? Plot twist. My thumb isn't broken as in the bone. It, it, it got severely, severely lacerated. So technically my thumb is broken because I cannot use it. So it's actually a lot worse than broken because I was trying to clean this out. I was trying to shove this brush in like this, like really hard because it doesn't really fit that well. And so I was like going with all my might, which isn't that much to be honest, but I was like pushing it in really, really hard. And then suddenly this slips through faster than a bullet because it was all soaked up. And my thumb right here collided with the edge of this and I'll use my other thumb as an example. So this thumb right here got what the doctor called a severe laceration. So basically, I'll use the pen to show you. Okay, don't, don't get freaked out, but I'll use a red marker, don't worry. It's not real blood. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> okay, so what happened is the tea kettle went directly down the center of my thumb all the way to about that point and about halfway down the nail. So vertically, my thumb was like in half. Um, anyways. So I grasped my thumb <laughs> very, very tightly to stop the uh, bleeding. And I then panicked, called uh, my friend Andrew Sawicki, uh, and he took me to the urgent care. Where a very nice woman named Nora uh, proceeded to put six stitches in me. It was horrible. <laughs> it's fine though, you know? Maybe it's the world telling me, don't do dishes, don't try to be better, stay down. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Pizza! Now we have to make a pizza. And here's something fun is that I actually used to manage a pizza slash art gallery, which is exactly what it sounds like. Whatever you think that is, it was. Anyways, there was a lot of pizza that happened at this art gallery and I managed it of all people. Can you believe that? So I'm just gonna rely on muscle memory to make this pizza. No recipe, Um, even though that was like, 10 years ago and I don't remember anything from that time and also the owner of the place didn't like me making the pizzas because apparently um, the customers complained that my pizzas weren't good whatever that means um, but I was around a lot of pizzas I'll remember I'll be fine I'll I will be fine I've already secured the ingredients this is what I'm working with because our first step I know is Oh, the dough. But this is what I have, look. 
I have, I have so many great things that I got everything I'll need. Um, some Colby cheese, which there's a pretty big, a pretty big bite out of because of none of your business. Mozzarella, oil, pizza sauce, oh, active dry yeast. Whatever that is, I know I know I need that for the dough or something. I know that that's a thing. Flour, of course. And then I can never find my kitchen knife. I haven't seen it for years. And so I got this one. I have this one, which it's not a kitchen knife at all. <laughs> it is sharp though. I have so many memories with this knife. And it's gonna be great for cutting and it has this real fun feature that it can I don't, it's, it, it, well, I don't think we'll use that for the pizza, but it has come in handy in the past. But we won't, you know, I won't get into all that right now. Oh, right, uh, the pizza dough. I don't know how to make pizza dough. <laughs> oh, but, but I found this nice box to work on. That's some, that's something. Flour, yeast, and, 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 uh, and oil. I think that that's all that goes into pizza dough. So the funny thing about this, uh, I'll explain, as I make my, uh, dough, which I, 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 I'll just sort of eyeball. I'm not really like a measurements guy, you know what I mean? I can, I can just kind of figure this out. Wait, you know what I've just realized, actually, is that I am right-handed. This is my dominant hand that I use anyways. And this is the one, th this is the challenge, right, is that I'm trying to make, uh, pizza with a, a fundamentally very broken, uh, thumb that I, I can't move too suddenly or else the stitches, I don't want to <laughs> gross you out, but I, I have to be very careful with this. So, I should challenge myself just to make it with this hand. Oh, I know. <laughs> Okay, now this hand is absolutely no good. I'm taking it out of the equation. I'm gonna make this pizza with just this hand. I'm gonna figure it out with this thumb. That's the video concept. You got this, Garrett. Right, I have this thing that measures cups. No, I don't need that. I don't actually, I, I, think, I think a cup is about, about a handful. That looks like about a cup, I think. And I think a pizza dough is about a cup of flour. Yeah, this makes sense. That makes, I think that's perfect actually. No, I think I need more. That, I think that, that's not a cup. That, that's, about, that's a cup. Okay. Okay, okay, so you know what? That's kind of nice. So there's a, um, so there's a splint, uh, in this right here. So the splint is here so I don't, you know, like, do anything silly or, like, injure it further. That's to keep it from further injury. But I say we use the splint as, like, a utility, because, I mean, we're, we've already got a spoon and a mixer right here, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> oh, flour is gross. They make this stuff out of, they make bread out of this stuff? Okay, th this is called uh, active dry yeast, and I think a little goes a long way. So we'll just do, um, well, we'll just, we'll just do like, we'll just do like, I think that's probably, I we'll just do like, I think that's probably good. Yeah, I don't know what yeast is. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna taking some of the yeast and I, I, I have to activate it in water. I remember that. Um, okay, so that's, I'll get this all mixed up here. Don't worry, I washed my hands and the bandage is actually sterile. So that's not, don't think that's weird. <laughs> it's a little weird. Don't worry about it, okay. But it's sterile, okay? <laughs> okay, sorry, the yeast is doing something creepy. It's bubbling up. L look at that, the yeast I put in the water is bubbling the hell up. Oh god, it's bubbling over. No. Ah, okay, look at you see this? That's what that's what that's what yeast does. Oh. Oh, ooh. Oh god. And and then I and then I think it just all comes together now. Is that as easy as pizza dough is? I mean, it already smells like pizza dough. I think I'm doing all right. Oh, I wish I could use my hand for this. Oh, uh, uh oil. I'll just kind of do it until it until I'm like, "Oh, that's the vibe, you know?" That's probably what most cooks do. Yeah, that seems right. Okay, yeah, all right. Okay, I sprayed it, I sprayed it in that to make it easier. Oh God, oil's getting on my bandage. I, I know it doesn't look like it, but I feel like this is going well. <laughs> that, that's just me on a date, <laughs> sorry. But it really is kind of starting to feel like pizza dough. Uh, everything is just, this is absolutely nuts. What, what do they call people like me, like savants? or something like, it's, uh, this is unreal that this seems to be working. I mean, I, 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 I shouldn't speak like that as if I doubted myself. Maybe I do have a memory. Maybe my muscle memory is stronger than I'm giving it credit for, um, from when I worked at that pizza place. It was a pizza place. Okay, oh my gosh, look at this. Uh, eat, eat your heart out. Um, the whole country of Italy, <laughs> um, and New York City as well, because, uh, 
This is pizza. <laughs> this is, this is pizza. Oh, I forgot seasonings of any kind. Uh-oh. Good news, I found something called onion salt that I've had for about seven years, but I'm sure it's probably fine. Just a dash of that. Okay, now that's pizza. Yeah. Am I a very good cook? I mean, honestly, look at this. I'm not just trying to be funny. Look, I made that at Halloween, remember that? That's been in my freezer for a long time. Someone came over to my house the other day and opened up the freezer and that, I had to explain that one. Well, the hardest part's over. I, I made the dough. Okay, now it's just the um, the tossing of the dough. Um, and I've seen that in movies, so that's easy. So now comes the actual fun part, is when we form the pizza and do it like the pros do. So it's very like, Mamma Mia, that's a good Sorry, I, I, um, oh my god. <sighs> the door is safe, we're good. Oh my gosh. I need a second. Hey, I don't want to talk about that, okay? All right? You know what, the ceilings are higher in here. This is, <laughs> everything's fine. Oh, look at this, I'm working wonders here. Look at this. Do you see what's happening? I don't, okay, listen, I did it. Okay, I did the thing. I threw it up in the air. All right, I got the visual, great. It, what was the point of this? I need to go back into the kitchen. Okay, you have to put, uh, I think flour is a part of this. It goes down. Oh, oh, yes, that's nice. That's good. Not too bad. Now, you know, don't think I'm ruining it right now because I'm not. Hold your horses, look. Since it's a fun holiday event, I figured you know I figured you know it could be really fun uh, to make it green. So you just put a little food coloring, and and you know because it doesn't matter to do it in the middle because that'll be covered up with cheese and sauce. So it's just a little bit of modest uh, food coloring. You understand? Oh, that's look at that. Well, hang on now. There seems to be a bit of plastic. You see that? I think it's a washer from the um from the light fixture. Oops. <laughs> Okay, uh, that's fine. I'll just pretend like that did not happen. I do that a lot in my life. It's pretty amazing what you can just kind of block out <laughs> and pretend like it didn't exist. Isn't that crazy? Oh, take it easy, Garrett, getting dark. All right, um, see, this is fun because no one will doubt that it's a holiday pizza now. Before, it's just like, oh, who shows up to a holiday potluck, you know, with just a pizza? Well, it's not just a pizza, is it? Because the, uh, the edges are green. Okay. That should be fine. And, and this is fun, because what are the holiday colors? That's right, green and red. Oh, that's wonderful. Kris Kringle could never. Moving on. Oh, see, this part's cake. Just cheese. Um, now, this is Swiss cheese, which I don't think is traditional on pizza. But then again, I don't know much of anything about pizza making. You wouldn't think so by looking at this, though. I mean, look at this masterpiece. Oh, you know what? What a fun opportunity for the knife. <laughs> We can just sort of cut, cut these up a little bit. Actually, it's, it's, I'm pretty strong, so it's pretty easy just to pull apart. Oh, now I will admit, I'm the one who took the bite out of this um, big block of cheese. But since I'm very sanitary, I'm gonna go ahead and cut that piece off that I sank my, my teeth into. Cause no one wants that. No one wants that on a pizza. And, and, and good as new. Although there seemed to have been some sort of uh, rust or some dirt on the, on the knife. So we'll cut that off again. Ugh. Oh, I'll have no cheese left once it's all said and done with my sanitary practices. Oh, well, I cut a little bit of the bandage off, but it's fine. But it, it's not, it did not, it's it's fine. It did not drop into the pizza. It, it didn't go into the pizza. Do you hear a cricket? Qu cricket, quiet, I'm shooting. Am I losing my mind? I can put a little onion salt on it. There's nothing wrong with that. And there you have it. A perfect, a perfect pizza that, to the best of my knowledge, is safe. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of get stuff down a little bit here. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. And then at this point, I'm, I'm not losing it though. You hear that cricket? Um, cricket? I know what's happening. He's smelling some of this pizza and he wants a little bit. Well, it's not your lucky day, pal. I'm just kidding, I'll give you a little bit. <laughs>
Okay, you know what? Couple pieces of good, really good news here. Um, the first piece of good news is that broken thumb and all, it didn't stop me, okay? I didn't burst my stitches open, um, only minimal damage to the kitchen, and mission accomplished. It's not burned, it smells incredible, it looks festive, and, 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 and I think it's terrific, okay? In my heart, I've succeeded, okay? So that's the first piece of good news. Oh, second piece of good news uh, is that uh, I'm not a, a psychopath and I would never serve this to people uh, because uh, I found an actual uh, washer in it, remember? And also remember like the other 100,000 things that happened during the course of this video um, that were probably objectively disgusting. Uh, I would never serve this to people. So that's the good news is that don't worry, you can watch this video with a good conscience knowing that I will be the only one uh, trying this pizza. And as for the holiday potluck, well, I'm gonna do what I always assume that I would do, uh, and that's um, order a, a, a pizza from this place that I really like, and then uh, pretend like I made it. Absolutely phenomenal, and there's no nuts, bolts, or glass in this bite that I know of in this exact moment. <laughs> God, I'm gonna eat a lot of this off camera. If you want to indulge me in the comments because I love <coughs> food and the holidays, tell me what your favorite thing to eat around the holidays is. Or like, do you have any cool traditions? Do you like make sugar cookies with your grandma on your dad's side? I don't know, you tell me. Anyways, what's your favorite thing to eat around the holidays? Me? It's probably like stuffing or pizza or anything. <coughs> I don't know, tell me if you want or just tell me something sweet, whatever. Uh, love ya. And also, be so careful when doing the dishes. For real. Be so careful. Don't worry, I'm gonna rebandage this up. It's gonna be great and not disgusting. Bye, love you, see you. I'm gonna eat all, all the cheese off the top of this pizza right now. Bye. <laughs> Slay bills are real.